Hi, my name is Rishin. I'm from 3rd year EC from GMID and I made this cool little project that I have named Magic. So it's a line following and a maze solving robot. As you can see, it's pretty small. It's smaller than my hand and my hand is pretty small. And here's a, what the back of it look like. Uh, it's very compact and it's all in one robot. So I'm going to show you how I made this and all the construction. So let's get on the board. So here's the robot. As you can see, the construction of the robot is very simple. And it's also very small. It's actually much smaller than my previous boards that I've, you know, one for robots that I was making. And it's very small. That makes it very easy to take sharp corners. And being circular, it can take 360 degree without much shift to the sensor, which was a problem with this T construction. So the battery is actually 18650 lithium ion cell. And there's two motors with 30 to 1 ratio gear. So this is the main computer on board with the 80 mega 38P running at 20 megahertz. Uh, this LCD and sorry, this is an OLED and two button and one buzzer for navigation control and indication. Uh, so in the back of the uh, of our robot, so this is the main boost converter that converts a 3.6 volt to 4.2 volt. The battery voltage to a steady 9.5 volt, which is directly fed to the to our motor controller, to our motor driver IC. Uh, it's an MX1508 IC, uh, and it's also converted to 5 volt and fed to our infrared array here. Same uh, same goes to our main board, main uh, controller IC. It's also running at 5 volt. So let's see this in action. Here the robot is self calibrating. Uh, it is distinguishing between the white line and the black line. So here you can see that the robot in action, and in slow mo we can easily see how sharply uh, it is taking the corners and how smooth it is thanks to its uh, PID control algorithm. The main reason that it can take these sharp corners is just because of its circular in nature and, and the PID controlling system that is happening. Uh, it is uh, taking the samples of black line and white line at 30 frames per second. There goes my robot. I hope you really like this robot. It can mess solve with loops in it and line follow with pretty high speed. In future, I'm gonna do a little more improvement in the software part, polishing it up. And till then, I think it's great. It's one of my best construction, best robot in line following department. I'm really happy with it. Hope you're gonna like this.